All right, dear friends, here we are for our final look at the 1948 tea cone house. Now this is the house that I named after my aunt, Annie Mae. So this is the house that I have done very little touch up to. And again, this house, I've just um, got it sitting here with um, without tightening up the tabs. So you can see that the roof is loose. It's just sitting on there, but it will tighten down. I'm just not going to bend those tabs because I'm going to take this pretty house apart. It's probably going to have to be sold because I have one just like it. But let's talk a little bit about T-Cone. Um, they had several styles of dollhouses, but they had the series that had a Spanish influence with the red roof. And they had three in that series. And this was the first one issued in 1948. Then it was followed by a 1951 model that has, it's a little bit smaller, the graphics are a little different, and it has a patio on this side as well as on this side. So you can always tell this one has just the one patio and it's a little bit larger. This is also the one with the beautiful dining room with the Persian looking rug in it. And this one's just in beautiful shape. All of these floors and walls have been polished and they are just gorgeous. Um, even you can see how pretty that bathroom is. It, the blue is a little faded, but the swans are still there. Look at this bedroom, it's just gorgeous. Uh, it is just a beautiful, beautiful house and has very little in the way of condition problems. Then in 1956, they issued another red roof version. And on that one, it is the smaller version, identical to 1951. However, it only has one patio. And uh, so it's very similar to the 1951. But this was the first one, 1948. These houses were all originally, I believe, had scale 116 in them. Um, now, I like to use 124 in my 1951 house because it's a little smaller house. But these rooms are very generously sized. And here's a couch in here that is a 124 size. And you can see how pretty that is in there. Now you can use uh, 124. And I've got a 124 here to show you. Um, and it's fine, but you can see it's a little bit smaller. You could get a lot more furniture in here if you used 124, but it scaled very, very nicely for 116. And when I furnish mine, I'll probably use 116 because I've not yet furnished a house with 116. So that's probably what I'm going to use. This house um, has a couple of unique features. It has the, uh, it's the only house that has a dining room in it, a separate dining room. It's got a little hallway back here and a little hallway back here that goes into the living room. And it also has got a sweet little hallway up here that goes from this bedroom behind the bathroom and it comes out the other side over here. So I think it's the only house that's got that little hallway in it behind the bathroom. So it's super cute. Now this particular version's got all the original windows in it. I did find the one I was missing. It was in my workroom. I knew I had it. Um, it has the original door. Um, again, I used a paper clip here to hold it on. That paper clip, you, you can't see it, but it functions just like the original hinge. Let's turn this house around and look at the sides. You can see how pretty the graphics are over here also. Here's the front of the house. It's got all the windows. Here's the original door. And here it's easier to show you. There's a little doorknob there. It's a little easier to show you that that door will open and shut just right with that paperclip hinge. And that should last a long, long time there. Let's turn Grandma around so we can see her in there. Bye, Grandma. See you in a minute. We'll continue around the side of the house. You can see how pretty it is. The graphics are lovely. It's been polished, so it's as shiny as it's going to get. I did very little paint touch up on it, but if it needed a little bit here and there, I absolutely did that. Here we are back on the other side. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tour of this pretty, pretty house. And uh, since I have two of these, I'm going to probably, unfortunately, have to sell this one. So you keep watching for that. All right, thanks for joining me. As always, you've got a friend here in Iowa and a lot of friends in our dollhouse groups. So I hope you will join us and please subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.